Welcome to our next Bhagavad Gita lesson. Let's settle, settle in with a slow, deep breath. Hari Om Tatsa. Om Shanti. We're on episode number 202, entitled, What Do We Mean by Food? And we're on the 30th verse of the fourth chapter. I'll read it to you. Still others with well-regulated diet offer their prana into the cosmic prana. All these yogis are cleansed of their impurities through the purifying power of yagna. Sri Krishna gives uh, one more example of how we can worship the divine as a part of our daily life. He's been talking about these yagnas. In this verse, he talks about uh, the yataharas, people who do two things. First, they eat well. Uh, when we're performing, uh, uh, we're performing a yagna, when we're enjoying our, a moderate amount of food, nutritious food, for the purpose of bringing uh, vital energy to the body and mind. Eating is one of the two most difficult areas to, to gain mastery over the mind and senses. The other is sex. The goal is not to beat the mind and senses into submission, but to make them allies in our spiritual journey. Food is not just uh, calcium, phosphorus, and amino acids. Besides the material part of, of the tofu, there's the subtle part. And Krishna says that the second part of this yagna is the offering of the prana from the tofu and dedicating it to the in the service of the universal life force. There are times when I'm gobbling down food, when I'm already full, and I'll think of this verse, and I'll try to turn my gluttony into a yagna, offering the prana from the food into the cosmic prana. Unfortunately, when I quiet my mind, I can hear the cosmic prana telling me, brother, I'm sorry to tell you this because I can see your mind is already disturbed, but you're not making a deposit into the cosmic prana. You're making a withdrawal. I'm going to have to lend you a hand to digest all the food you're putting into your belly. My guru uh, spoke about food. He was often referring to uh, what is fed through all the senses, not just through the tongue, and even as well as the thoughts that were feeding the mind. We may be eating a moderately uh, a moderate diet of organic, raw, locally grown food. But if the mind is being fed constant junk food, judgmental, angry, anxious thoughts, then we won't really be have regulated our diet. And it, edible sattvic food will help, but it won't be enough to keep us from getting stressed and beaten down by life with gaping holes in our pranic body that dissipate our energy. For reflection, whether we offer it or not, our prana is already a ray of the cosmic prana. What can you do to feel that you're offering your ray in dedicated service to the universal prana? Thanks for joining. See you soon. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.